Hi, my name is Thomas Clark and I'm an Applications Engineer with National Instruments UK and Ireland. In this video I'm going to demonstrate the Automated Marble Maze, which is a project that we've been working on for the last few weeks alongside our usual support role. This project involves a reconfigurable maze sitting on a moving platform that can tilt in the X and Y directions. Our key aim was to solve this maze automatically. The maze walls and marble position are detected by a vision system positioned above the maze. The vision system provides feedback to a real-time data acquisition system running a control algorithm which directs two servo motors to move the marble to the designated endpoint, in this case the upper left hand part of the maze. Implementing graphical system design with LabVIEW 8.6 has allowed us to use a single programming language for multiple devices, which means we've been able to work from the ground up to design, prototype and deploy on custom off-the-shelf hardware. As the central control for the maze, we've used the National Instruments Compact Rio. The Compact Rio consists of a real-time controller, FPGA backplane, and data acquisition modules. The 9014 real-time controller accepts data broadcast from the vision system via the Ethernet port and forwards the marble position to the control loop on the FPGA backplane. The digital output modules are then used to accurately position two standard off-the-shelf RC servos. The FPJ backplane of the c -Rio has been programmed using LabVIEW to run a PID control loop. The PID loop is an adjustable gain that can be changed dynamically depending on the marble position transmitted by the vision system. For example, the gain can be increased to overcome the effects of friction when the marble has been in the same position for an extended period of time. Alongside our Compact Rio programmable automated controller, we are using an NI Smart Camera for the automated inspection of the maze. The NI Smart Camera is able to acquire frames and analyse them in real time, passing the results to the C Rio. The configurable maze itself was designed on a transparent base plate with black walls. The transparent base has allowed us to create a tilting frame that contains strips of 24 volt LEDs for backlighting. This backlighting is controlled from the NI Smart Camera, which has a port for direct drive lighting, which allows us to power the LEDs directly and synchronise them with the image acquisition. The Smart Camera is expecting 60 frames per second, meaning the LEDs are strobing at 60 Hz, allowing us to exceed their current limit. This gives us a high contrast when detecting maze walls and marble position. To give us automated inspection, the Smart Camera has been programmed as a real-time target using LabVIEW code, just like on the Serio. As a safety operation, our programming allows the smart camera to detect when the frame contains more objects than just maze walls and a marble. Therefore, when a hand is detected, the control algorithm stops and waits for the hand to be removed. This design now allows for a user to reconfigure the walls while the maze is being solved. The automated marble maze then recaptures the new maze and calculates the shortest route to the designated endpoint. The hand detection occurs on board the smart camera, as can be seen by the fail LED being illuminated. Another operation of this project is the user mode which we've implemented. A standard PC game port joystick can be connected to tilt the maze in any direction. This has been implemented on the same code and hardware being used for the auto mode. The automated marble maze has been designed to run directly from the C Rio, meaning that a PC is not required to switch operations. All operations can actually be set from the joystick itself. However, using the shared variable engine, maze data is being broadcast via Ethernet. A PC with a user interface virtual instrument can be connected at any time. Currently, time to solve is being collected, allowing the user to compete with the automated solution. The mobile position being broadcast by the smart camera can also be used to track the maze progress. This is only a small taste of what graphical system design can do. As our targets are reconfigurable, new modes and improved control algorithms can be deployed. Thank you for watching our video for the automated marble maze, and I hope this has inspired you to take on more design challenges.